Hello folks, this is Vagrant, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons and Twin Peaks, which currently doesn't have any peaks whatsoever, but it will eventually have Twin Peaks. It is a beautiful new day, it is a Sunday, I totally forgot to sell like a third of my turnips, so I had to clear out all the rotten ones this morning, very well done, but at the end of the day I think we're basically done with the turnips now. What I'm planning to do is maybe buy one inventory worth a week and then we'll just sell it our own place. I'm done with travelling all over the bloody world selling turnips to people who are like 20 nook mile tickets to enter my 450 turnip farm. I was, it's not happening anymore. Uh, Leaf is here today. There he is. I don't really have anything to add to that. I'm assuming Leaf turns up a lot because it's uh, Earth Week or Nature Week or whatever that malarkey was, but I've got to be honest, maybe the second least interesting of the visitors because it's always generally the same stuff. These are new, admittedly, the camellia, but once you've kind of stocked up once, there's not much point in leave coming back, so. It pains me to say that about sloth, it really does, but here we are. Now, one thing we need to do before we do anything else, obviously, is meet our new uh, arrival. So, that's Pashmina's house. Whose house is this? Hopper's house. I have to find it first. Are we in here? Eh? There we go. Our new boy rolled. Found him yesterday. He's officially moved in. He should still be moving boxes around and stuff like that, but he should be here. <gasps> yes. Roll, buddy. How you doing? I love him. He's such a chunk. Him and Buck can uh, hang out with lift weights. So he's going to be lifting boxes today. He's going a little sweep. Oh, I love him. <laughs> he makes me so happy. Whilst we're here, we should check if anyone is, um... <clears throat> See, Buck, are you ready? You're gonna have a new weight partner. Oh, wait. Oh, cheers, pal. I did actually... Yeah, I was meant to pick up more medicine, and I kind of forgot. <laughs> He's a good egg, Buck. He is. Shwing! Right, I just want to have a quick little check. There should be somebody inside the house and crafting. Grizzly is still asleep, because he's a lazy so-and-so. That means Hornsby's probably asleep as well. But somebody will be crafting. There's a system. I believe in the system. Elise. Elise believes in the system as well. What are you working on, Elise? Ah, oh, look at that! <laughs> I would love... Wait, do I... Do, wait, don't I already have this recipe? Do I? No, I don't. Awesome. So, Ironwood is, it's, you know what, it looks good, don't get me wrong, it really does look good, but everybody's obsessed with it. It's like, it's the, um, what's it called? What's the cat called that I was on about the other day? Roland? Or am I just thinking of Roald? What's the cat called? Whatever the cat's called, right? The cat that everybody's obsessed with. Ironwood Dresser is the cat of the furniture world when it comes to Animal Crossing. Everyone's like, oh my god, I completed the game, I got all the Ironwood equipment and stuff like that. And it's nice, but it's, it's become so obnoxiously popular that I think it's lost a lot of its uh, value, personally. Personally. I just, yeah, I, I'm a bit of a hipster though, you know, let's not pretend otherwise. But we're doing pretty well. We are one piece short, I believe. The only thing I need, I actually do have a cutting board, I was hooked up with that one, but um, it's the only recipe I need is the cutting board. So, we have to move a house. Hi, Fauna. So, let's move someone over here. I'm just moving everybody onto the beach, basically. Oh. Oh, hey, Twix. It's gonna teach me a reaction. Boom, smiles. It's quite a chill one, isn't it? <laughs> Buck, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> what are you up to? God only knows. That's too close to the wall, yeah. Okay, didn't think that would work, but there we go. So the idea is, just over time, we're not going to worry about it too much. I'm just, every day, I'm moving into the house onto the beach, clearing this whole area up, and then we're going to set the whole thing up as a uh, neighbourhood. I want to join in. It'd be nice if we had, like, a workout reaction. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'll leave you to it. Right, what are we doing today? Today is a... Oh, I got rid of the bridge, didn't I? Today is a terraforming, worky work day. The campsite needs love. Lots and lots and lots of love. Don't we all, folks? Don't we all? Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. I've, I've, I had an idea this morning. I figured 
usually when I'm recording a video, I can't have any other sound playing on my PC because you'll hear it through my, my recording program records Windows PC sound, right? So if I'm listening to music or there's a video playing, you'll hear it and every now and again something goes wrong and that happens. But because this records the sound directly from the Switch, it doesn't record my general PC sound, I can actually have music playing in the background whilst I play Animal Crossing, which I usually always would. So I do have an album playing right now. <clears throat> However, I've just realised how bad an idea that might well be because I want to, like, <laughs> start singing along every five bloody seconds. And I can't sing, and that would be a terrible thing to subject you to. But I love this song. Right, so, the campsite. <sighs> Why this song? We're going to hop into Island Designer. Just for reference, people who are curious. It's, it's not, like, a particularly obscure band, but I only just found them. Um, this band called Spanish Love Songs, who do... Basically exactly my type of music, and they do a specific song called Bellyache, and it is... I, I... yeah, I love it. I really do. If I ever go silent, it's because I'm trying to resist the, <laughs> the temptation. Right, so we talked about this yesterday. The campsite is okay. It, it definitely needs a little bit more love. And what that love is going to look like is A... This. Weeds. Again, something that the game hates, but I think make the ground look 20 billion times more interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna weed it up. 420 blazer, all that kind of cool kid stuff, you know. Gotta be honest, never really been my scene. I went to university. People tried things, but I just I, I, we're just going off on a tangent here. But um, I always found it quite a boring community to be part of. Not community. I think that's probably taking it the wrong way. But everyone like smoked weed at university, right? I lived with like four stoners in my last year. And they never want to go out and do anything, because you don't when you smoke it, right? They want to like stay in and watch films and eat and smoke. And I'm like, well, I want to go out clubbing. <laughs> you know? I want to go out and do things, and they never did. So it kind of put me off the idea in general. Don't do drugs, kids. Actually, do drugs, kids. This is really terrible life advice, but do drugs. Like, just experiment a little bit. Don't go crazy. Don't do anything too stupid. Don't start shooting up heroin or anything. This is how I get demonetized, by the way. But I think there is value in experimenting and trying things out. And I think it's silly to pretend that you're not going to. And when I'm a parent one day, that will very much be the philosophy I take. My dad once said to me, if you want to try weed once, and he didn't smoke or anything, he wasn't big on it, but he'll hook me up and we'll do it as a family, me and my dad and my sister, because he knows we're going to do it. It's like, for me, it's the equivalent of abstinence training. Abstinence training doesn't work. People are going to have sex. So the best thing you can do is educate them about it and make sure they're doing it correctly. Now, <laughs> it's a little different because whereas my dad could offer to help us out with the weed, he probably shouldn't help us with the sex bit, but the general philosophy, I think, has uh, come through. It is only eight minutes into the video. It's probably too early to go on these random tangents. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm just gonna start building some cliffs, I think. So we talked, oh sorry buddy, we talked about this yesterday, the idea, <laughs> sorry, I, I feel bad now. If I was anything even vaguely relating to a uh, professional YouTuber, I would not have said anything that I just said. <laughs> um, we talked about blocking off the viewpoint a little bit, making the campsite feel a little bit more self-enclosed, so that it, you know, you can't see the marketplace as much and stuff like that, so that's really what I want to work on. I've also got a little bit of an idea for the entrance to the actual, I really like the idea. I'm going to block this off with a line. I really like the idea of coming over here and then straight up going over a bridge. Now, I'm already removing a ramp today, so we can't do it today. I'm removing this one. Remember, we're swapping all these with stone. Although, I quite like the brick against stone. I think that's quite nice, but I'm placing that with stone. And you're going to come over the bridge. And then I think you're going to curl over to the right or to the left. And I think we're going to put a wall, like a water feature, right in front of resident surfaces so you can't see it from the entrance. Because, again, it's very... Ah, oh, it's very slightly not symmetrical, and it's really annoying, so we have to do something to change that. We have to frame it differently, I think. Because that is never going to look good, I don't think. Unless you come in and you go right immediately. Like, there's just, maybe there's like an end. Ah, hmm. So I saw someone do something where they made like a, I don't have the sheet thing you need for it. But they did like an airport times thing, you know, where it showed, like a departure board for the airport. So what we could do is you come straight forward, and right in front of you is like the airport seating area with the departure board and stuff like that. And then the path comes over to the right a little bit, like to there. And that's why you go straight forward, and that leads straight into resident services, because there is a natural reason to kind of diverge the path slightly. I just don't think I've got enough room to build like some big natural thing. I just don't think it's ever going to work. But we'll see. Ah... 
Mm, okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I'm saying that now, when the idea was a couple of seconds ago. But that's not a bad idea, that, that, that could work. And much like all my ideas is shamelessly stolen from Reddit. <laughs> I have to be careful here. Um, we have to make sure we can actually go through. The idea is for this path to be quite natural. You know, kind of like the ones we have at the orchard. But you also need to actually be able to get through, so. <laughs> that might be a little bit too tight. Not often I'll say that. Wow, okay. Uh, right, so what I want to do as well is build this up just a little bit more. I'd like to get a third tier on this, if possible. Just to give it a little bit more height. I was going to put some water on it, but I don't think I'll get away with both. So let's just build this up. I think this is going to do a lot for uh, how the campsite looks. Hopefully, anyway. It's the only idea I've got, so if this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yes! Okay, you can kind of see it, but I think if we can triple tier, because that's tier 2 at the moment, if you get that triple tier in, then it can feel much more enclosed, which is very much what I want. It already looks better to me. Let's see what we can do. Getting this up to a tier 3 is going to be difficult. Me! In the middle. Um, okay, what we should do speaking thinking even slightly logically i don't mind if this is quite a small path i don't mind if it's a tight fit because it's it's meant to feel like the gap between the city and then you're entering this natural kind of secret world behind it you know like secret garden kind of vibes more like instead of like this forest being like this special little jewel kind of thing in the middle of nowhere it's kind of like the city area here is that instead you know there's this block in the middle like an oasis essentially, and that's where our town is, and then around that is the, the desert, but the desert is forest and woodland and it's all very natural based, and then the city is this kind of like block of somewhat more constrained building right in the middle. That's the idea. I don't know if that's going to work or not, it's a whole other kettle of fish. I still don't know what kettle of fish means, I think a kettle used to mean something slightly different, and it was something you would cook fish in. But. I would hate to speculate about something so important. So, let's, uh, we're going to put some stone down. How's this going to work? Right, okay, we're going to have to double up on that, aren't we? That's okay, one can split off to the left, one can split off to the right. The only problem I have with this is it takes bloody ages. Now, you could, in theory, do it via the, um, custom path tool, but the problem with that is you then lose the sort of slightly random nature of it, you know? I think if I block off... Hmm, thinking if this is... Hmm, what I think we do instead, let's get rid of that. Might have to change things up just a little bit. Bearing in mind this is going to be a stone... A uh, ramp rather than a brick one. That'll blend in a lot nicer. I think we have to stick with this because I think that being just like that is, is too much. So that has to come down like that. And that'll look nice with the stone. Oh, this is actually the wrong stone entirely. Good job, me. Although we could use that. I don't mind mixing and matching path. I do mind mixing the matching path. What am I on about? <laughs> Consistent theming is my entire jam. Don't pretend otherwise, you numpty. Right, okay, here we go. No, nope, no, nope, messed up. There we go. Lovely stuff. Um, I don't care if you can see the path from the right of the campsite, but it's when you're here that I want it to feel enclosed, you know? Like, over here, you're allowed to see the town a little bit. So that path is going to come down and link in. I guess we're doing the path over here. So that'll link around there. Do a flower bed kind of thing along here. I think we're going to cover the entire resident surfaces, just the edge of it in hedges and bushes and stuff like that. Just this line right here, which means this needs to keep coming down. Let's see what that looks like. It's about time we have some bloody path going on anyway. I've been distracted by myriad things lately. It's time to, to focus up again and get back to... You know, the idea was always focus on it. little individual places. So this is kind of trying to age back in that direction. And then halfway through there... Now that is technically the halfway point. 
But in reality, it's not, is it? Halfway point, because of the, the ramp, the halfway point for this is more like there. So I think we just put that there. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Yeah. So that's how you'd walk over to this. And when we get the other stuff in, that will look nicer. Maybe. It could always look terrible. Who knows? That's the fun. <laughs> Life is pain. All that kind of jazz. Life isn't pain, folks. Life is a beautiful thing that must be seized like a dragonfly. <laughs> and it may, it may try to escape from you for many, many hours, but you must chase it down. Okay, that's... Oh, hello, Cheeky. I mean, the pole should work. If I could jump up, I'm pretty sure I could poke that with my pole. Let's see what I've got in here. It's going to be cash, isn't it? Oh, it's fireplace. Oh, cool, actually. Oh, that's really nice! Well done, balloon! Yeah, I like that. That's awesome. I don't know what the hell I'll use it for, but I like it. Okay. This this is such a problem. Please, fit Animal Crossing development. Nintendo, I know you're watching. You're one of my, like, 200 viewers. Please let us link this path together. Pretty please. It would make me so much happier. And this one. It's ridiculous. Activities would be little circles. Ugh. Okay, so I think we put, like, a tree here and stuff like that. Maybe, like, a little rock. I think I need to knock this in. It has to be... It can't just go hard path to broken up stone. It has to be a blending between the two. So I think we need to knock this wall in a little bit. And I might put this down a little bit, and then we'll put something there, we'll put something there. Just something to signify that you're entering a different area, you know? Kind of like we're going to go do up at the uh, top there as well. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. As long as it looks alright from here, which it does, we're okay. Now, let's see if we can triple up here at all. Just want a little bit of hill. We can always go up and maybe put some trees up there and stuff like that as well. Or some flowers. Just something to make it look a little bit more natural. Let's see what we can do. Come on, come on. Uh, go on, you want to get one in. You can't... It's a little bit awkward. You can't do it if there's not, like, a gap at the edge. You can't go... You can't build, like, a too high cliff without it being staggered. Which is a little bit of a shame, actually, now that I think about it. Hopefully that's something they can maybe change in the future. So I think I can put... Actually, I don't think I put any more in here, can I? Nope. Okay. I'd like to extend this out by one. And that's quite easy to do. So all we need to do... Nip back downstairs. Doop, 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 doop. The reason we can't put that one up there is because of this gap right here. So we just need to replace that. There we go. That should fix it, I think. Yeah. I just don't want that gap. The gap's silly. Although now it's very... Ah, it's fine, whatever. I'm not sure I like how regimented that is, but we'll see We'll see what it looks like. On the basal level, as long as it blocks the marketplace, I'm pretty happy. I actually might have this carry on as well, this... Carry on all the way over here, and then end in a little water feature into the river. And then that kind of separates this path here from the campsite. Let's have a little look. Where are we? Yeah, nice. It, 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 the campsite's main problem was that you could see the town, and now it kind of feels like its own thing again. We'll have to do the same over there, when we're going to build god knows what over across the river, but on a basic level, I'm pretty happy with how that's worked out. I think I'm going to have to move the sign. What if we put it here instead? Come here. It's all about the sight lines. It's all about the framing. And the tree, this tree, blocks the framing. So, you're going to come in... Actually, it should be like here, right? And then you'll come away... Again, it'll be like this. And we'll have to come up with like a consistent thing that breaks up from this path to this path. I want like a... A way of doing it that we can apply. Because there's at least three or four places across the entire park that's going to happen. So, I'd like to re replicate that same idea several times. So... We'd have another one here, you'd walk along, there'd be a tree, there'd be a campsite sign right here saying, you know, you're heading to the campsite. You follow that along, it'll take you down into around here. This campsite will never be filled unless someone else leaves my island. Twiggy, cough, Elise, cough. Hello, Daisy. I am going to purchase from you, but I can't be bothered right now. Right, so, 
Let's try to make this look a little cooler, which means sticking random stuff everywhere. Maybe a little stone. Bam! What are you going to do about it? Nothing, that's one. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so aggressive about the stone. Little, little, little bit. Little logs, yeah. Love little logs, me. Love big logs as well, actually. Big logs are my favourite, like, design items in video games. <laughs> obsessed. It's a weird sentence. I am obsessed with big logs. What are you obsessed by? Normal human things. Imagine that on a first date. Got some clovers in here. Daisies. It's funny how they work. Considering they're flat and you do have 3D flowers, but they just... There's something about them. Because they're less impactful than the other flowers. I sneeze so badly. No, I don't put that right there. I'm going to put that behind the logs. And he sneezed so badly. Oh my god, resist. Fight. Fight. Fight the power. Why did you go over there? It already looks so much nicer. I feel like it needs a wall behind it. Maybe just a low tier one. If we take this wall across here, and then we put loads of trees on it and in front of it, I think it might give it a little bit more of that haunted campsite vibe that we're going for. Because right now it doesn't feel haunted. I mean, there's no reason it would have than the random ass skull at the top. But I do want it to have that, that feeling. can't just put one of anything down. It has to be at least two, otherwise it feels like it draws attention to itself. Let's stick some more daisies in here. God knows what I do without other people <laughs> with these designs, honestly. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, we can go check in with Mabel's. We've not done that in blimmin' ages. Is there anything I'm looking for? Ah, yes, I want an army hat. I might have one in my inventory. I'm gonna have to go check. I really want to give Roald the uh, the army hat. I know it's me, but it honestly looks like he's suffering <laughs> massively. Yeah, it's really funny <laughs> and it's so cruel, but he looks cute in it. I don't even know what that is. I mean, it's just random designs. All right, I've got no money, Mabel. Be good to me. Actually, I've got like several of those tickets as well. I didn't know bomber skirts were a thing. There you go, learn something new every day. They're not bad. Alan Grant, right? Okay, I'm gonna grab those just in case. Oh, that. <laughs> I'm so en français. People love français. People love revolution. And so forth in that kind of general manner. Um. Shoes on the ground where? I have no idea. Let's just grab all those. I'm slowly building it up. We're gonna probably have to make a custom shirt. Because Alan Grant's, he wears like a blue, it's like a baby blue shirt. <clears throat> but he also wears like a red neckerchief kind of thing, for God knows what reason, by the way. It is such a weird fashion choice for a serious manly paleontologist to make, you know. It's it's slightly odd, but what are you going to do? Not that main can't wear neckerchiefs, it's just, it's an odd fashion choice for what is not exactly a progressive film when it comes to, you know, gender roles, I would say. Not that it's not progressive, it's just, you know, it's definitely not the focus. Why should it be? I feel like I'm trying to defend it too hard now. Right, so, what am I here for? I've completely forgotten. What am I looking for? Am I going to see it? What am I? No, 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 no. I'm not going to remember. What am I here for? Is that the hat from... That looks like the hat from... Um, Oh God, I Why am I here? <laughs> I was wondering. Oh, yes, there it is. There it is. There, that's what I was looking for. Rolled, <laughs> buddy. I'm not sure I'll be able to give it in because it's the uh, the first day. Welcome to the town. He has an army helmet. Get yourself protected. Yeah, it's, not, it's not the best welcome, is it? It's a little bit threatening. It's not this one, is it? Ugh, it's this one over here. I wonder if all the penguins are the same house, because Hopper's got the same wallpaper and flooring with the icebergs and stuff going on. Hey, buddy! 
Ah, okay. I'll talk to him tomorrow. I love him! Ah! I, I still can't believe he turned up. Literally the day before, I show a picture of him in the video saying, this is my favourite villager, the one I really want, and then he just shows up. And, you know, the video's unedited, you guys can see I didn't do anything, I didn't spawn him in or anything like that. Yeah, it's cool. Just gonna, just gonna chill on this stump for a bit, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna do what I just said I have to do. So what I need is a piece of fruit. It's funny, like, I always thought music was one of these things that you kind of... Maybe you grow up a little bit in your tastes, and I probably did to an extent. I, I The kind of high-pitched emo bands of my youth I don't really get into as much anymore, you know. I, I That really kind of squeaky American voice that some bands have is not really my thing. But, you know, I'm nearly 30, and I'm still hardcore into emo music more than any other genre. Emo, indie rock, rock, whatever you want to call it. It's not just emo emo, but Wonder Years and Brand New and Spanish Love Songs and stuff like that. It's just, it just hasn't changed. I don't know if it ever will, honestly. That's okay. Everyone should be free to love what they love, you know? So the idea is you're standing here. Oh, campsite sign. I should follow the path. Ooh, followed the path. Ooh, I ended up here. Ooh, it's a campsite. Ooh, exciting. I might have to move another tree. Maybe this one. Just just as more clearly defined path down there. I think. Oh, I'm stuck. So, oh, no, life is pain. Okay, there we go. Come on, beautiful. One day I'll do something about this bamboo. It's been sitting there since, like, episode two or something. Just not growing because it's been so neglected. Still have to work on this river. I'm not really going to worry about it until I know what I'm doing over here. There just isn't a plan right now. I really do want to do the driving theatre. But maybe not there. Has to probably be something foresty. Slash beachy. Otherwise I think it's going to look weird. Maybe we just make that the horror bit. Maybe we just make this into a nice campsite. And then there's a bridge over the river here. And then there's like a pit. It's like a burial pit. Yes, that's the idea. That's what we're gonna do. I've already done a pit though. Can I do two pits? Yeah, I can do two pits. Or maybe like a temple. No, how am I gonna do a temple? Or <laughs> there's something like that. Maybe this is where we put the horror, right? And they cross over the bridge. Oh, but then there's the beach. Beach ruins everything. No, it has to be something beach related. I hate the beach. I do have a spare ramp, in theory. But I kind of want to use that by the house to have like a raised thing. There you go. <laughs> That's all the information you're getting because I don't know what else it's going to be. Mm -hmm. It's not that Animal Crossing has bad music or anything, it's just I will take any opportunity I can to have my music on. If it was 5am, I will admit, I would listen to Animal Crossing music. I love the 5am music in this game. That's much better. I think I want another tree there. Maybe push the sign down by one, but we have the path coming around here. And you can clearly see the path, and you can clearly see your character, which I think is important. You're still in the way. How are you still in the way? I moved you. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Come here, you. Yeah. I kind of want to raise it up here as well. But we're going to do that anyway, right? Raise this drain up here. Well, it now feels like its own thing. Which is important. Cool beans! How are we doing? Yeah. Um, right, that was the main thing I wanted to get done today. There's a couple of things we need to nip up here and do. This bit is just a little bit boring right now. It needs a little love, so we're gonna push the path further forward. It's gonna go all the way in, I think. And then uh, we'll put some stuff down. Some weeds and stuff like that. The weeds are amazing, honestly. They make everything look cooler. I would be a terrible school teacher. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna have to go straight forward, I think. 
You're a really annoying gangle, aren't you? Like, the sizing is slightly off, I think. I oh, know it shouldn't be. It should be a triple. Ooh, baby, a triple. That's the kids say. Yeah, it's not perfect. Why? Wait, 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 no, I'm confused. Why is the top one perfect? And when the side ones aren't? The grid system in this game makes no sense. Like, it's fine, but the problem with it is that... It's not it's not even across the whole park. It's like there's it reminds me of Planet Zoo a little bit. It's like there's two grid systems working, basically, and some things work on one grid system and some things work on the other. And that makes it very difficult to predict where things are gonna fit or not. It makes symmetry very difficult to achieve. Just gonna dump some weeds. Boop. 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 Nothing special over here, just want it to feel a little bit more... Just blend it in with the rest of everything that's going on, really. I see you, cheeky fossil on the left. I will return for you. No rumours, though. No. Okay. One more. Two more. Boo. That does look better. I'd like some little lights around here as well, but that's already nicer. I think we keep this one clear. I don't think we need a path going through the actual orchard. I really like this area, yeah. Ah, right. What are we doing with our lives? It's a loaded question, I know. I, I really need to come up with what this plan is going to be. Oh, I was going to build a... Um, mm, I was kind of thinking the arch. The problem with the arch is A, it costs bloody loads of stone. But B, I think having several arches all over the place is going to look a little bit weird. I think it has to be something less... Conspicuous tree stumps or something. Let's have a little look in our. Uh, actually, let's look at our crafting. If I was a thing, what would I be? Let's have a look. Let's, let's decide. Maybe it could just be like the logs in the ground and then some plant life around it. Maybe tiki torches. Hmm. Hmm. That might look alright. Eh. Tiki torches inherently carry that kind of slightly tribal vibe to them. The logs aren't a bad idea. The stakes aren't a bad idea, actually. I think they show a new area quite well. Put the stakes like along the ground and then have some trees around it and some stuff like that. It doesn't need to be big. It just needs to be... It just needs to exist. Okay? <laughs> um, I really like that signpost as well. How do we break up the nice stone with the ragged stone? I think the arch is just too much. Because I'm going to have this like four or five times. I don't want four or five arches. I'm going to save that. I think if we make loads of those tall garden rocks and arrange them in a circle, they're kind of like quite sharp and aggressive looking. If we had like six or seven or, well, eight of those maybe in a circle or pointing inwards and then we had like a tablet in the middle, that might look really cool for our uh, horror bit. We could probably do the horror bit near the, uh, the beach. We'll find a way. It's fine. Life is good. I'm thinking that the the pointy lucky bits and I need more trees. I need so many more trees. Oh, eggs everywhere. Um I actually don't know. This is the one right, let's make some log stakes. It's the only thing I'm I need to fix that as well. I'll do it later. It's the only bit I'm I'm just not feeling that inspo for, you know, we need to hit up that gram and that Pinterest. How would you show them Pinterest? Pint. Love me some Pint. Right, we need wood. I'm actually a bit low on wood. I actually have a surprising amount of stone. We can make a couple of different things if need be there. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? We're leaving. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna stick some stuff in and hope for the best, basically, and see what happens. This is the idea? Oh, I got a message. Okay. Uh, where is it? Hornsby. Hornsby sent me a message saying the postcard's pretty. He doesn't want to write too much because it covers up the pretty postcard. So that's Hornsby, Fauna, and Graham. All best friends, I think. Maybe not Graham. Hornsby and Fauna, for sure. Happen to be my two favourites. So <laughs> I'm just going to make two of these. We only need to try it out once. So I'm going to make four of these. Now that I think about it. You can actually colour these in. You can customise them, I think. 
I've seen birch ones. I don't know if it's a different... Yeah, customizable. Yeah, we'll have a little look at that. Maybe we'll find something cooler. It's the same with the rock. I think there's like a mossy green version. It looks rubbish, but it's cool that it's there. <laughs> oh, by the way, found out you only need to tap it twice to craft. All these little things. Like, people still tap really hard to fish or hold it to fish as well. Like, people do all these different things. It reminds me of Pokemon, right? Where, depending on where you were born or where you grew up, I guess, you'd have different... Eh? Is this the patterns? Oh. Okay. Why would you have a... No, no idea. You'd have different ways of catching a Pokemon. Like, for me, it was always on the third... No, wait, no. As the ball closes... That's when you hold A and you hold A until the third shake and then you let go. But it completely depends on your upbringing. Everyone has different ones. I like the birch. I think it's pretty cool. Don't like the other two. Ugh. But I do like the birch. I'll think about where we can use that. Right. <laughs> It's a bit weird because I can still hear the Animal Crossing music, it's quite loud. So I get kind of this big emo moment and then there's Animal Crossing music. Why is that? Oh, your hitbox is humongous, son. Absolutely humongous. There's no need. Okay, bearing in mind the hedge is going to move to the to further to the left. Yeah. It might even be a hedge. It's probably going to be a hedge. I think it'll look okay, but it needs um, maybe a slightly messed up ridge. I think it's too straight, and then it needs, you know, a flower bed or something. But I think they look pretty cool. And maybe like a little sign saying what's down here and something else. God knows what that would be, but something else. But just a little thing to say, you know, the path has ended. Here's the new path. Or here, you're entering a different area. Kind of like... Sort of, in a way, that the area behind... It's kind of like a warning sign, a little bit. I mean, we're not going in that direction entirely, but... Just that beyond here, it's a bit dangerous, it's nature, it's a nature trail kind of shebang, you know, and... Uh, don't die, essentially. Top tip. Alright, let's rebuild this hedge. I don't like having path right next to hedge, except in very extreme circumstances. One of which I do want to build. I've had a little idea for, um... The lower right, we're going to put all ten houses in two rows of five, right? And at the top of that, I want to build, like, a lake. Like, a proper big lake with maybe, like, a pier and stuff like that. Although it's very hard to build good-looking piers in this game. Because everything's got the grass edge. But kind of inspired by my hometown a little bit. Which I haven't really integrated into this. I think it's nice to have a little of your heritage in there. Um, I'm from the Isle of Man. Which is a teeny, tiny little island between England and Ireland. Ireland. <laughs> and, um... I lived in Douglas, which is like the capital, and we were right by the promenade, which is basically the bay, essentially. And there was this like big long stretch of concrete, and then you could go down to the beach, or there was just like, you know, the sea in front of you, and we had a lot of cool little things. Like there was a, um, as a teeny tiny little castle off in the ocean, and at high tide the castle would like sink beneath the waves, and at low tide you could actually walk over to it. It was, it was, it was pretty cool. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it already looks nicer. And then we just do something on both sides to make it symmetrical. I'll have to do something here as well. Might just bring this cliff in by one. It needs more, obviously. I don't know what that more is going to be, but I don't think it could be the arch. I'm sorry, arch. I've worked on you a lot today. Any chance we've got what we need? Nope. <laughs> this plan has not worked at all. The weird stump farm. <laughs> It's not working out how I wanted it to, I'll admit. This is looking nicer though, this this is coming together quite nicely, I think. It's slowly becoming a town. Very slowly it's getting there. I need to plant more trees. Let's go buy more trees. Uh, what are we going to do tomorrow then? <clears throat> I will have a new visitor, of course. And... Yeah, I guess we just keep working now, don't we, really? We just just keep working on the campsite, on the thing next to the campsite, if we're going to do the horror thing. Um, just keep building stuff, I guess. Oh god, I have no money. <laughs> I just realised. 
I spent another 60k today, admittedly. And there really wasn't anything. I know I've bought it all, <laughs> but there really wasn't anything exciting in Nux. If there's ever anything that I think is worth showing, I will show you it in the morning. But if I don't cut out the, you know, waking up and checking the mail and checking in at the shops and all that kind of jazz, it adds like 20 minutes to the video of which very little is actual content. So I think it's worth cutting. Let's plant some trees. I think it's easier to just plant them in random spaces. They need a lot of room to grow. So you can't really put them... I don't think that one will grow. You can't really just put them where you want them to grow later. It's easier to grow them than move them, I think. Top tip. I still see loads of posts, people talking about... Um, asking why their orchard won't grow. It's because their trees are too close together. Okay, cool. So a few more days, we'll have a bunch more trees for the campsite. We'll have a new ramp building tomorrow. I need to look daisy. This still needs something. I think we're going to do like a little bike thing, but I don't think I've got any bikes. It could be something else though. What else could it be? God only knows. Maybe this could be my little trade area. I've got all those spare um, recipes. I don't really have anywhere to put them, so maybe we'll just do a little blocked off area. <clears throat> that is the, the trade area and the wall in here. So it's like pick one up, take one. It's like a free come get a recipe trade system thing. Yeah? I want to push this up by one. You do something here as well. Let's just triple. I think we can put any skeleton in there and it'll work, but I'm not sure on that. There's still plenty to do, folks. <laughs> oh, I also... Oh, yeah. Um, I also ordered enough one of those lights, so we can put that down there tomorrow to make that look a little cooler. There is one thing I want to do with this dig site. I think I kind of want to... It's very... It's, it's a perfect square right now. It's two perfect squares. I think it might look cooler... If it's got a slightly hazardous shape to it, because you're not going to dig perfectly down, there would be other materials in the way and stuff like that. So I kind of want to bring in the edges a little bit and push them out a little bit further in certain places just to give it a bit of a rough edge. So we might look at doing that tomorrow as well, along with the river and the campsite and a billion, billion other things. But that is all we have time for in this stretch. Ah. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we will be back tomorrow, as we always are. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.